Good morning. Happy Thursday. Good afternoon. Good evening, wherever you are. Welcome. Thank you so much for taking time out of your day to spend with me. My name is Nichelle with 2XLWithNichelle.com. Stopping in to give you a couple of thoughts today on this Think About It Thursday. Welcome. How are you? Hey, Butter. How you doing today? Thank you for being a part of my space. If you like daily inspiration and motivation, you can connect with me on Instagram at Nichelle Womack and on Twitter at Nichelle Womack. I look forward to connecting with you very soon. Hello, how are you? So real quick here, three thoughts that I want to share with you today. Three levels of insanity. I don't know about you, but I know that at some point in my life, just listen and you'll, you'll find out very soon, at some point in my life, I've heard about insanity, being a doctoral candidate and working in the field of mental health and health care and just working with people all the time. You know, I see insanity. Insanity is real. Insanity is in our face every day, no matter where you are insanity is there. And so when we're talking about three levels of insanity, we're talking about what can really happen to you, what can happen to the people around you. So I want you to take these levels of insanity and look to see if they apply in your life, people you know, if you've been a victim of them, because if you are experiencing insanity, you are a victim. Yes, Lord, you are a victim. So the first level, I know you've heard this before plenty of times, insanity is doing the same thing over and over again, getting the same results. If you're getting the same results and you haven't tried to do anything different, my question is why you know and then the next level I want you to be mindful of is the question of insanity doing the same thing over and over again and then you're satisfied with the results and so that point right there it gets a little scary when you know something that you've done that you're currently doing over and over again and it's not working and you're satisfied with them ask yourself why why are you satisfied with still being in the same state of mind that you are in and you know it's not working? You're not willing to change it. You're satisfied with it. You know, satisfaction really takes different levels in our life. It's either a satisfaction of, you know, you can't do any better. A satisfaction that somebody told you this is how it's going to be and it's going to be done this way. A satisfaction of you literally cannot change it. You know, so I'm asking you, why are you at this state of insanity and you haven't moved to that next level of getting out of it? And the last third level of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again. And you know what you're doing is wrong. You know that um, what you're doing is, is not helping you or helping others, but you're doing it over and over again and you're getting the same results and you're not changing anything at all. And so bottom line, when you think about insanity, at some point in everyone's life, we've been there. But the question is, why are you still there? Why are you still there at that level of insanity? Why haven't you moved from that? You know, and if you can't answer that question, maybe the time is for you to get some help, literally get some help. And, you know, people think that uh, insanity is a mode of being crazy. It's not. It's not a mode of being crazy. At some point, it can be confusion. It can be distress. It can be people don't even know any better. They don't even know they're in a mode of insanity because there's a difference between depression. There's a difference between being a psychotic and all those levels. Insanity is when people are there sometimes purposely being being there because they don't know any better or how to move out of it. And so when I'm teaching my clients and we're talking about the different modes of how we can take our level of instability and move it towards a level of stability, we start talking about insanity. You know, are you purposely here because you want to be here? Are you purposely here because you don't know how to get from where you are to the next state? You know, we, we really need to address that because that can stifle you in your growth and your development and no matter where you are in your life, your career, your business or your relationship. So the three levels of insanity, once you identify, if you fall into that, it's easier for you to transition from one state to the next, you know, and, and, and I know people, you know, as a spiritual guidance, you know, I share with people the word of God all the time. And in the Bible, it states to be content until things happen differently for you. It does not say be satisfied. You know, and some people will try to correlate the satisfaction and the contentment together. No, be content where you are until you're able 
capable and ready to move to that next level. So God does not say for us to be satisfied at a state of depression. God does not say be satisfied at a state of debt. God does not be say, be st satisfied at a state of not knowing or even trying to find out how to know. You know, we make those excuses for ourselves as humans. We make those excuses for ourselves as people that don't know any better. And the word does say when, you know, forgive them for what no they not do. Forgive them for they know not what they do. You know, but at some point you got to take responsibility and say, I know this is not right. I know it's not right for me to stay in debt, you know, for the rest of my life. I know it's not meant for me to stay in poverty for the rest of my life. I know it's not meant for me to stay in a broken relationship for the rest of my life. I know it's not right for me to stay on this job that I hate and I get up for every day. Three levels of insanity. You know, once you, once you know better, you should prepare to do better. And that preparation comes from acknowledgement. That preparation comes from, I know I'm at a state that I don't want to be at anymore. That level of insanity. You know, and only per, the only person that can address that to satisfy that and remedy that is you. And how do you do that? You have to move from that level of comfort. You have to move from that level of, I don't know any better. Because everybody knows better. You may not know how to transition and you may not know how to do it differently. And that's where assistance come in. Too many people are afraid to ask for help. You know, and as long as you are afraid to ask for help, you're going to stay in that destitute situation. Asking for help does not make you small. It actually makes you big. It makes you bigger than a person that never asked for help. You know, so what we really need to look at as prosperous people in the kingdom of God. That's the first thing. The prosperous people in the kingdom of God. Are you at that level of insanity that you are just satisfied, don't know no better, stuck? Or are you prepared to take your life, your situation and change it and get out of that insanity mode? Three levels of insanity. Do you fall in one now? Do you know someone that's currently in one that needs to be transitioned where they are? You know, transitioning, you know, uh, wisdom comes from hearing. Wisdom comes from listening. Wisdom comes from understanding. And the more wisdom that you get about your situation, the more capable and able you are ready to change it. You know, and then sometimes, you know, I state this all the time. It, it takes us being removed from a situation. And sometimes that situation could be people. A lot of times it's things. But most of the time it's our mindset. How we've been perceived of looking at things. How things appear to us. You know, and so we really have to really realize what is it that you want in your life? Are you satisfied, content, or are you prepared to get out of that insanity mode and take your life from where it is to the next level. Only you can decide that and determine that. You know, I, I really, the excuses that people make for themselves and other people, we literally have to stop doing that. You're not helping the situation by making excuses. You need to set that, sit yourself down, you know, because we all have to get, to, I've had to sit myself down and say, look, you need to reorganize, restructure and think about what it is that you're really doing in your life. And as a life transition strategist, when I'm helping people devise their, their life and, and plan out, you know, point A to point B, that's the first thing that we're talking about. You know, what level of insanity are you in? You know, and, and obviously when people make that progression move, they know that it's time to do something different. They're at that recovery stage. As a student, doctoral learner, the recovery stage is so important. At that point, you've acknowledged that change must take place. And as I state all the time, you, you know, if someone is a recovering alcoholic, you literally cannot make them stop drinking. They have to want to do it. A smoker, a chain smoker, you cannot make them stop smoking. They got to want to do it. Now, your assistance will help them, but they must want to do it from deep down inside of their heart. If you're tired of being in an abusive situation, you got to want to change that. You got to want to get yourself up and get ready to go because you're tired of being abused. And being abused can be in any format, verbally, physically, mentally, financially. You know, at some point, we have to recognize that it's the time for change. Get out of insanity. Three levels of insanity. 
My name is Nichelle Womack and I am a life transition strategist. I'm a business strategist and I talk about relationships. My purpose every time that I get on any type of social media in front of my audience is to make them aware, to make them think and to hopefully and prepare you to change what's been going on in your life. Change can only happen if you are a participant. It cannot happen in your life if you're not. You could connect with me for daily inspiration, motivation, talking about business strategies, life, relationships, whatever, on Instagram at Nichelle Womack. I'm also available on Twitter at Nichelle Womack, and I'm here on a regular basis at Nichelle Womack on Periscope. I'm also on Facebook at The Life Transition Strategist. I look forward to connecting with you very soon. Nichelle Womack, to excel with Nichelle.com. Be blessed and highly favored in everything you do. And look at your life. Be prepared to change. Think about it. What is it that you want to do that you have not done yet? Life waits for no one, especially you. All righty? Be blessed and highly favored. Blessings and peace unto you. And may everything you touch, may it turn to gold. Talk to you later. Bye-bye. Thank you for the love coming in, sharing those hearts. I greatly appreciate it. And if you find this message valuable, if I've said something to pierce your soul, share it with someone else. You never know how you can bless another person by sharing a message with them. Take care, and I'll talk with you later. Bye-bye.